hi so today i'll be talking about beam profile or beam geometry so we have read that uh, the beam profile kind of looks like this so this is the central axis and uh, uh, it's uh, usually opened at uh, 10 uh, like um, for example in this case if you take 10 into 10 centimeter field size is open at a depth of 10 centimeter we have opened a beam profile so if you consider this as 80 percent where the dose fall off starts until this 20 percent this is called the penumbra and uh, this is the 100 percent relative dose as it decreases 80 50 until 10 um, that's how we have read a beam profile looks like so to understand this deeply i have um, i have bought a small video to understand in one of the qa session in our uh, hospital we could see that um, um, so this is a water phantom actually we can see that this is a water phantom and uh, this is the detector so uh, if you consider this whole uh, water phantom you can open a field size of 40 by 40 or 30 by 30 or uh, 20 by 20 10 by 10 5 by 5 or something like that and this is the detector so uh, currently the detector is at the surface so it will move inch by inch inch by inch to um, know the dose at this surface to know the dose at this side first then then this will be moved this way this way covering the whole parameter of this uh, at the surface level then it goes deeper at one centimeter two centimeter three centimeter that way uh, a whole beam profile in a 3d structure is uh, constructed and um, uh, wait a minute i'll show you so um, so that's the detector and yeah for example here 5 by 5 field is opened okay so if you can see here this is the field size like you can see the reflection over here that's the field size it is around i think five into five centimeter field size uh, now they are removing the detector cap now that it has been moved to the surface those uh, uh, though it's like um, source to surface distance we are measuring uh, at 100 centimeters since this is linac at 100 centimeter we have um, we are starting the beam uh, profile we are measuring the dose at this uh, surface so this it will cover this whole uh, this whole uh, field size and measure the dose all along it will move so now it has moved like this now it will move away then this side then this side it's not like automatic the person who does the QA will do it uh, this is at the surface level then it moves deeply at one centimeter two centimeter so on to measure now um, if you see the if you see the uh, 3d beam profile it will look something like this and um, now, now now this is the uh, 3d beam profile now if you cut like if you take a 2d section of it is when we get our proper uh, beam profile like that whatever we have studied like this will be more flat yeah so in a beam profile we know that we measure for flatness and symmetry flatness um, Flatness, we know that uh, is the expression of uh, difference between the maximum and the minimum uh, dose across the uh, beam profile at a particular depth. And uh, symmetry is the expression of dose at two points on the beam profile. Symmetry will be like at uh, two different points. 
uh, how the dose difference is there that's called um, uh, symmetry so if you take um, this is an example so um, here if you take um, this is at the d max level then um, then this is at 5 centimeter depth then this is at 10 centimeter this is a 20 this is a 30 centimeters that's the beam profile and this is for a field of 10 into 10 centimeters for a 6 mv linac and um, uh, if you consider uh, uh, this um, a kilo voltage uh, kilo voltage beam profile then we can see that there is something called as heel effect where the symmetry is not proper so you can see the flatness is also lost the symmetry is uh, also lost so that's the difference between that's why we need um, uh, proper flatness and symmetry for us to know um, how to know how well uh, these are for the function uh, for the desirable radiotherapy planning Okay.